Hello, everybody. Jim Powers once again with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we visit with our coaches and joining us, the assistant coach on the women's soccer team, Lori Kolopny. And, and Lori, let's talk about the first couple of weeks um, at home. Good opening to the season. Lindenwood pushed, you know, it was a great game all around. And then conference play. You know, I think some missed opportunities, you know, in watching the games on the weekend, and I think you guys felt the same way. Talk a little bit about the first couple of weeks. Yeah, we had a great preseason, a great two weeks. Uh, it was nice to get the girls back back here, back together. Um, had a great opening to the season, won two to nothing, uh, and then came out against Lindenwood the next day, uh, less than 24 hours later. Uh, we played a really good first half, and then I think the legs just got a little bit heavy uh, in the second half. So uh, weren't able to come out on top of that one. Uh, conference play is always tough. This this conference is is tough, man. It is uh, every game is a scrap, and uh, you know you just got to fight through. Um, I think we got you know got our eyes open a little bit to to what we should be expecting. Uh, played a very good Bellarmine team on uh, Friday, uh, nationally ranked. Uh, we put in a really good effort. Just yeah. just kind of barely came up short, uh, but we are getting there. Um, even you know made big strides forward in our second game on the weekend and. Uh, so we're not we're not worried. We're we're looking forward, um, and I think we have a lot uh, a lot of positives to take from the weekend. The physical play, I think, over the weekend, and we know how Bellarmine and Southern Indiana is, and this isn't a bad thing, but they love to play a physical style game in the midfield. And I really thought that that our ladies really did a nice job in adapting to that physical style, especially in the midfield and turning it into attack. Yeah, you know, it's tough because we want to play. We like to play, get 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 on the ball and, and pass and move. And uh, a lot of the teams in this conference are, are just kind of disruptive, and that's, that's soccer. you got to figure out a way around it. Uh, so it, it was a learning experience. I think, like I said, we, our eyes were kind of open to this is, this is what we got to deal with. And so I think uh, they did kind of step up to that physicality uh, later in the game, and we're starting to figure it out. We, we can still play. We still want to play and play pretty soccer, uh, but we kind of have to match that physicality as well. Allison Verville had a great couple weeks for you guys. Talk about her play. You know, only, you know, a sophomore, but she's doing some really nice things up in the forward position for you guys. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a uh, – you, you could go on and on about Allison for days and uh, not only her, her soccer playing ability, but kind of the leadership she's shown in, in such a short amount of time. So we're excited about Allison. We've got to get – uh, the players around her to step up now because uh, I'm sure teams will be scouting her. Uh, so uh, we, we've got to get uh, a little bit more out of the players around her. And, and I think the freshmen have done a nice job in adapting, and especially, you know, a Casey Gonzalez who had a phenomenal assist early, you know, in one of the games. And the freshmen have really done a nice job in, in easing into – you know, playing the JLVC, which is arguably the toughest conference in America. Yeah, absolutely. We're really excited about our freshman class. Uh, we have uh, quite a few who have stepped in and played really big roles in the first couple weekends here. So uh, it, it's a learning process for them. Um, but to see where they've where they are now after just a short amount of time. It's it's really a positive and something that we're very excited about. Let's talk about this weekend. McKendry comes in on Friday for a 5 o'clock start, and then you've got a very good Illinois Springfield team coming down. What have you seen on film? What are you guys kind of keying in on those two teams this weekend? Uh, more of the same. Um, they'll both be battles. Uh, McKendry, uh, both, both teams were uh, pretty successful last weekend in their first conference play. So, um, like I said, it's, it's just that's the GLVC. We, we play in a tough conference. Uh, you can't take any game for granted. I mean, every, every game is a battle. Uh, but I think if we can get ourselves to match the physicality of both opponents, um, our soccer playing style will be able to come out, and, and I think uh, we'll be successful. We're right there. We're just right there. Awesome stuff. We'll see you on Friday down at Maryville Field. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much. We'll have the women's soccer game for you. Friday they take on McKendry at 5 o'clock, and then on Sunday they'll play Illinois Springfield. It'll be a noon start. We'll have an audio broadcast of that game on our website on Saints Vision. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.